Shalom and hello, sisters and saints of the Most High Yah. Hallelujah. I'm coming on here before you. Every time I come on here, hallelujah, I am making sure and doing my best to make sure that I'm led by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Because it's not about coming on here gibbering and jabbering. Hallelujah. So I'm trying to make sure that I'm led by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And I'm grateful for the ones that are being led by the Holy Spirit because they are a blessing. You know, I'm I'm grateful for being able to hear a man of Yah stand up and speak truth. Hallelujah. I'm grateful for being able to just hear uh, a teacher Eric um, is speaking up. Hallelujah. And teaching the truth on Sabbath services. Hallelujah. It's just a blessing. Hallelujah. When you stand up for Yah, hallelujah. When you stand up for the truth, the Father will replace everything you lost. Hallelujah. Glory. You think we, we won't stand for the Father? We won't receive the blessings? Hallelujah. But you have to do it in faith. You can't worry about what people think of you. You can't worry about pleasing men or what people think. of. And some days it's hard. It's going to be hard to say, you know what? I can't worry about what my sister say about me or think about me. I have to do at the end of the day, I have to do what Yahweh says. I have to choose to do what the word says. And sometimes, sisters, that can be a lonely place. But you know what? The word says, if we suffer with him, we shall reign with him. Hallelujah. I don't know about, I don't know about nobody else, but I know this. I've done enough suffering in my life <laughs> to know sufferings very well. So I'd rather suffer for the most high. Hallelujah. And one day in this lifetime as well. Reign with him. Hallelujah. So I am so thankful for what the Most High is doing in my life. Hallelujah. And how we have to remember that we walk by faith and not by sight. I noticed that, you know, um, here lately the Father had led me to do a video on showing the importance and the significance of taking our soul salvation seriously. And in the video, I had uh, used an example of a young man that was a part of a ministry I used to be in. And I spoke well of the young man. I was saying how he was like a son to me. And I would appreciate uh, the times that he would have with that I would have with him when he would sit and speak with me and tell me of his um, accomplishments um, through college and you know, what all he was working on. And it was just a blessing to be able to hear a young person nowadays um, have such a good head on their shoulders, to be able to hear him talk about the most high. You know, we don't see these things often anymore in young people. We we see them, you know, just living any kind of way, doing what they want. And I'm not saying any of us are perfect, but it was nice to see someone striving. And unfortunately, um, Someone was offended by my video and, and I felt bad about that. I really did. I felt bad about that. Um, and I, I, one thing about me and, and when you desire to please the most high, you have to be willing to search your heart. You can't be too prideful to go look at yourself. If someone tells you something, see, I don't have a narcissist spirit. Hallelujah and glory to the most high. So when someone conveys something to me about if I hurt them or mistreated them, they felt like or said something wrong. I am always in Jesus name going to go back and think about it. Consider it because I'm not perfect. I'm striving for perfection. I'm striving to be what the most high wants me to be. So I am never going to say I'm not capable I'm never going to say I'm not capable. I'm perfect. No, not I. I would be lying to myself, fooling myself. 
hallelujah, being deceived by Satan. And that was why he had a fall. Pride. Pride. Thinking he was better than the Most High. He thought he was better than the Most High. That's foolishness. I don't want to be caught in that same trap. Hallelujah. So I'm mindful. So I search my heart over and over again. I had people listen to the video I asked because the Bible says there is safety in the multitude of counsel. I've asked people to listen to it. I Some of them, I, they didn't even know why I asked them, but I want, I said, I want to uh, get what, what you was conveyed out of the message. And every one of them, except for um, every one of them that listened to it, that came back with me, they got what the message was conveying. And that was that we could die and lose our lives any time, any time in this world. And we need to be mindful of that. It's not about when Jesus is coming back. It's when I'm going to lose my life. That's what it's about. When is your day coming that you may not remain on the earth? The word speaks of it was a rich man in the Bible that was building up. He says, oh, I'm going to have so much. I'm going to build bigger barns so I can have places to restore much. And I won't have anything to worry about. In his mind, he thought that building bigger barns, collecting more things, was going to make him have no more worries. And we see that in people today. Oh, just get your storage. And those are wise things to do. Don't get me wrong. They are very wise. We, we have to be prepared. However, that can't be your only preparation. Are you preparing your soul to be received in these last days? Are you pre- preparing your mind? Are you allowing what the word says, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus? We can't just be pre- prepared in one way, everything, spiritually, naturally, but mostly spiritually. So we can prepare in the natural, we can prepare weapons and have prepare ourselves or know how to shoot a gun and use knives and All of that is wonderful to prepare for when the enemy come physically to attack me. But what about the spiritual um, wickedness that's going to come to try to attack me? Am I prepared for that? Am I prepared Satan trying to take me out of here? Set me up. And so I won't be walking spiritual. The Bible says, don't worry about who can kill the body, but who can kill the body and the soul. I know one day this body is going to leave here. Our bodies are, some of us are dealing with uh, illnesses in your body now. So we know the body is going to break down. The Bible even speaks to that. The Bible's the body is going to break down in different areas. Through three things we've been in life, even through things we disobeyed. You know, we have diseases out here. Just It's so much that the body can experience that. It's going to be pain or sorrow or, but are we preparing for the spiritual, the other side of that being received by the father? And like I said, the, this rich man had a mind that I'm just going to prepare for the physical things. I'm going to make bigger barns to hold more storage. And the word says that it came and said to him, thou fool, thou soul is required of thee this day. So that video was stating up, it was talking about, and and the people that came back and reported to me, they said, I get that you're speaking on being prepared for when you leave this world. You know, because none of us expect, how, how many people expect even the young people we see? You know, it was a time you knew that young people was going to live a lot longer. They was going to be here around, but we don't see that so much now, unfortunately. But I believe, Mother, that's our our ways of praying for our loved ones, our families, our friends. If we're in right standing with the Most High, then maybe we can help pray somebody through. Maybe we can help. Uh, I don't know. We all have different gifts. Hallelujah. In the body of the Most High, the body of Christ, there's different gifts. So maybe we can encourage someone else. Hallelujah. So I just want to say, 
sisters, we got to let go feeling bad. We got to let go of these emotions when it comes to this word. This word is going to get more serious as we go on because I am being led by the Holy Spirit. I am not giving you what I want to say. There's been times that I, I had this good uh, message in my heart that I wanted to share. And the father, oh, chastised, nope. Mm-mm. <laughs> There's been messages that been put for me to share that I didn't want to share. And that was actually uh, one of the one to an extent that I'm like, because it's a touchy one. It's a t- Anytime we talk about death, sisters, it's touchy. It is. But I'm trying to tell us. If we're prepared, just like we're getting prepared, we're doing food storage, water storage, all of that, making sure you got this. That's for preparation. So some people right now, spiritually and naturally, some people right now ain't worried about what's going to happen as far as if if we don't, they don't have food or whatever. Because they're set. They already set up. They already got their storage. They already prepared. But are you prepared spiritually? Are you prepared spiritually if death was to come in your life? This is the time for us to spiritually prepare. We're in preparation now. If we can't stand on the word of Yah while we're still in the green, while things are still not so bad, how do you think you're going to be able to stand when it get in red, when it really gets bad? You're not going to be able to stand if you're not preparing your body. If we're not preparing now, that's the same thing, spiritually, naturally. Naturally, you prepared. You, you, you know you ain't worried about a thing, sisters, your family, because you are prepared to make it here naturally. You did all the prepping, and you listen to all the prep videos and the people's teaching it, and you got it. You are ready. But how much preparing are you doing spiritually? Are you getting rid of the things that remain in you? Are you getting rid of the spot, the blemishes, and the wrinkles? Are you prepared in that asset? Are you prepared there? This is what it's about. Because the body said at the end of the day, don't be concerned what can kill the body, but be concerned with who can kill the body and the soul. And the only person can take our soul is... The Messiah chooses. He we, Actually, he doesn't even choose. He gives us a choice. He tells us, choose you this day what God you shall serve. It's your choice. If you choose the choice to follow a man or woman that's teaching you wrong, that's your choice. If you choose to, Yah does not force us to do what, what he wants. He, he, he is an absolute righteous king. He gives us a choice. He gives us self-will. We can choose ourselves. He doesn't make us. He could. My prayer is, Father, make me. So I just want to encourage you, sisters, be blessed. I hope that we're all preparing ourselves for the kingdom of heaven as well as preparing for what's to come on the earth. And I just encourage you, keep the most high first so that We will all be prepared spiritually and naturally. Shalom.